We're turning out to a bizarre battle pitting some modern day Robin Hoods against officials in Keene, New Hampshire. The small town is suing the group for putting money in random parking meters before they expire, claiming they are harassing police officers. Mm -hmm. And ABC's Lindsay Davis is up in Keene. Sam wants to know more about this. <laughs> up in Keene with the details. Good morning, Lindsay. <laughs> Good morning, George. This is the crux of the problem right here, parking meters. In this part of town, a quarter will get you about 30 minutes of parking, but there's a group here called the Robin Hooders, and their two cents, people shouldn't have to pay for parking violations, but some people say the way they're going about it is simply harassment. They're towing your car! What? As captured by Seinfeld, parking meters are something we've all had issues with. But in this New Hampshire town, one small group is stepping up. They call it Robin Hooding. About a half dozen men and women in the town of Keene are armed with nickels and dimes, helping people avoid parking tickets by feeding the meter. He was actually taking from the king, and he was redistributing it to the taxpayers. But not everyone is so appreciative of their actions. Robin Hood and about five of his merry men have been slapped with a lawsuit by the city, claiming they're harassing the parking enforcement officers. The Robin Hooders of Keene record themselves on camera, often within feet of the enforcement officers as they look for expired meters. Well, in a sense, we're preventing this state from being able to steal from people through the parking system. The Robin Hooders say in the last six months alone, they've saved 4,000 vehicles from tickets. At $5 a ticket, that's $20,000. In a city they say counts on generating about $250,000 in revenue from parking violations. The group says the lawsuit is nothing but the city retaliating against them for the lost money. There's not a lack of money. We have a fund that's separate and distinct from our general fund. Our cameras were rolling as the tension grew in the street. They're out here writing tickets where there's tons of empty spots. No one's being denied. The city says that one officer was actually so stressed by the Robin Hooders, he actually suffered heart palpitations. This battle is far from over. They'll now hash it out in civil court.